Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson, and I'm a graphic design instructor, and thank you so much for 300 subscribers. To be precise, right now, it's 306, which is flipping insane. I can't believe that we're uh, getting more subscribers, which is cool. Um, basically, today, I'm going to show you the part two of uh, the vintage text tutorial, because last time I showed you how to make the text, but I'm going to show you how to apply some effects. So as I zoom in, maybe on this bit here, Last time I showed you how to create this, as in the text, making it arced and stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to give it this rugged feel on the outside using a cool effect. I'm going to show you how to create these cool lines within it as well and know where to put them in that. Um, with a cool tool that you may have never used but you will use forever more on Illustrator. So I'm going to jump in. Uh, press tab to get out of that, press command zero to get up there. And I've already made a document, pre-made it uh, with the vintage bit in there because I showed you in my first part tutorial on how to do it, which is uh, what I did. So you can watch on this one how I make all the effects inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to name this layer type, and then I'm going to lock this layer, make a new one, and then I'm going to close uh, lines for now and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in by pressing Z and then just marking my zoom and then I'm going to press command sorry shift and B and this is the tool we're going to use to create the lines it's called the blob brush now keep in mind that you might need um, a graphics tablet for this because you basically draw with this and it's vector drawing and you can create loads of cool things with it I used it on my speed up tutorial so you can create um, really cool fonts and stuff with it and cool designs and um, yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings here and we're going to show you what I've got on. Now, this is a fidelity of 2.5, smoothness of 0, size of 1, variation of 1. Now, depending on the size of your document, it might be different, but I've chosen a 500 by 500 pixel document, uh, which makes it um, quite a small document, but um, it works with the vector, so it doesn't matter. I could press cancel. Now, I've got a Wacom graphics tablet, so it's going to be quite easy for me to do. Um, but if you don't have one, you can still do it with the mouse. So what we're going to first do is create this line. Now, the easiest way to do this is by holding shift down and then um, absolutely just creating a line down the vertical axis. Because that means that it just stays vertical when you hold shift. The cool thing with these lines are it depends on depending on where you're, you're brushing it from. If you start off really, uh, really light, it'll be light. But then if you heavy make it heavy by pressing it, it'll get heavier and stuff. And plus it doesn't change. It's just basically an expanded path that you're drawing here, which makes it really cool for drawing and stuff. So I've created that line. I'm going to press V to get to my move tool and I'm just going to highlight it and move it. Now it's weird because it's on an angle this, so we need to create a, an angle for it. So I'm going to go and press uh, E and this will give me to my free transform tool. And I'm going to just literally transform this round so it's parallel the V and it could take a minute like so and there we go I'm going to then put into position maybe with the, the arrow keys that looks great and then I'm going to press I'm going to copy this uh, and make it smaller so the easiest way to do this is pressing alt and then I'm going to press the right arrow key and that's duplicated it by one and then I'm going to dupl not duplicate it again but we're going to move it again but I need to move it further away from the uh, one I've already made so I'm going to hold shift which will move me 10 points away and then I'm going to move back a few points, which makes it a lot easier for me to do. And then I'm going to press shift and then I'm going to hold on this right bit here and scale it down like this. And what that does is it gives us this effect, which is cool. And it gives us two there, which is awesome. We can also go up here, create a vertical line, put it over here somewhere. Maybe if you have smart guides, you might want to turn them off by pressing Command U, or you can go into Views. Sorry, just moving my thing. View, and then uh, Smart Guides, turn it off by pressing Command U, or turn it on by pressing Command U. Uh, other things you can do is you can create not straight ones, but you can create some bends by just flicking it down here. It does help if you're good with a graphics tablet. I would go and highly recommend one. Another tip that you can use is Tab it. When you press Tab, it gets rid of the menus, uh, so you have more of a focus on what you're working on. Okay, I'm going to create another um, line. Just I'll show you like this. Uh, holding shift, that's vertical. So I'm going to highlight it, press E, and then just move it. Like so, maybe use the arrow keys as well to make sure it's in line. That looks pretty in line. Maybe just a tiny bit more that way. That's pretty much in line. And then I'm going to press V again to get to my uh, selection tool. 
press alt and then I'm going to move it a few times holding shift down I'm going to transform it down and there we go we have that and then up here you can create some cool bits here like so and basically you just go and repeat that for the whole document and it looks cool cool as anything all right that's the first part of it I'm going to go and lock them the second part is we want to go and make it rough so you see in this other document here we have made this rough um, everything in here is rough and it's used by something called roughing and that's a cool effect within Photoshop that you can use and you can edit as well so we're gonna go onto the type layer here unlock it by clicking on the uh, little what's it called padlock and then I'm gonna select my layer like so and this is a type layer what would help is if we press uh, command shift and O which outlines it and then to make us help, well, to help us even more, we need to go and expand the effect. So that means we can no longer um, edit the effect. It'll just be a shape layer in itself. Because you can see that it's got an effect in it because the text here and the outline paths are different to what we're actually seeing in the vintage style. So we need to go to object, uh, expand appearance, and then that makes it look a little bit better. And that's expanded the appearance that we see. But we need to go ahead and expand again. It doesn't say expand appearance. It just says expand, which means it's going to expand everything to make it look exactly what you're seeing. And then we're going to so object fill and stroke. Uh, we don't want the stroke to expand, so we'll delete that. So we're going to press OK. So everything is expanded apart from the stroke because we need to keep the stroke the same because we're going to roughen this out to make it look even better so I've got an itchy nose so if I'm itching my nose like that it's because it's itchy right and then I'm going to select it again now it's a shave I'm going to go up to effect distort and transform and roughen if you don't if you don't get your effects up here or whatever you can always come down to your appearance bar press on the effects icon here distort and transform roughen and then you'll get this little dialog box in this box I'm going to literally put a press preview and you look at it looks like an absolute mess like that, I'm going to press 1% absolute, and then I'm going to choose maybe like 20 or something. Maybe we can always edit it. So I'm going to choose smooth. We need a bit less of that, so I'm going to put down to 10 again, maybe 30 or something. Hmm, that looks too much. So we're going to play around with it. I'm going to go 0.5, which is half of one. Press OK, and that looks good there. So we've got 0.5 and half of one. Amazing, and that's how you get the rough and text. And you can expand that again. So we're going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. Object, Expand. Expand all of it. So everything's expanded in it, including the stroke. And there you have, literally, if I can get my thing right, you have literally everything there for what you want to do. And that is how you do it. Uh, basically, that's the rough and uh, vintage is all you'll have I'll zoom in so you can see it more uh, and that is everything that you need to know to create this uh, cool, cool text with the lines and stuff just keep going with it it'll make it it'll get easier during as you go along and practice with it anything you don't like do it again it is can be quite tedious but it's got a bit, pretty rewarding bit at the bottom or at the end of it so should i say so guys thanks so much for 100 subscribers keep tuning out for more videos if you like you can go and support me at patreon uh links in the description and i'm going to be bringing out a download on patreon soon that you all want to have which is a lot of my work files so you'll be able to copy them well you can't copy them because of, um because they're technically it's illegal but you can go ahead and seek inspiration from them. Also, check out my website. You can buy a T-shirt. One pound goes to charity or a poster where three pounds goes to charity. Uh, it's just like this as well, so you can be able to buy one. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.